Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, probably in the next video, I'm going to Walmart. I got to grab some more supplies. You know, got to grab some more supplies and shit. But, um, yeah, man. Um, this thing with Tyson Fury is just to the point to where it's just deplorable. And Tyson Fury is just a scumbag. And for the people that just don't want to accept Tyson Fury for who he is and what he is, something is seriously wrong with you. And I'm going to tell you right now, like I said in the next video, I'm about to call out all the hypocrisy and everybody that support Tyson Fury. Because now, all of a sudden, you have a farmer who has now came out and said, that Tyson Fury, when he tested positive for a banned substance, he said, oh, well, the reason why that happened is because I was eating wild boar. And first of all, a wild boar ain't nothing but a, a, a 2.0 version of a pig. It's nothing but a big ass nasty pig. And that's the reason why the Corolla virus is what it is now people eating these inhumane animals you know real talk first of all you got to question a person that eats a wild boar okay i think he been watching too much uh rambo first blood with sylvester stallone or something but he, he so that sounded kind of out there when he first said that now come to find out this farmer has said now it could be sour grapes and at the end of the day it is what it is do you do you guys remember that movie war dogs with jonah hill and miles teller came out i think in 2017 about basically you know they was and it's based off true events where basically they was being like gun runners it got to the point to where they started to blow up they became you know millionaires and they had a deal that would have put them over the map. That would have put them over the map. That would have made them probably, possibly the top arms dealers in the world. Or in the, or at least in North America. But what happened was Jonah Hill's character basically tried to stiff the dude. You know, when they was basically... Basically, what happened was the United States needed a mass amount of bullets for AK-47s. Now, due to the fact that they have an issue with China, you know, they fit, had the bullets. They had, the, uh, I think, 30 million rounds of ammo or something like that, and it was just like a big deal. So what happened was they decided to try to attempt to pay some people to redistribute and repackage the ammo so what happened was jonah hill's character basically didn't want to pay the dude so basically he tried to jip the dude and he and he offered to do the shit at a a discount rate to begin with he only asked for like two or three hundred racks and you talking about a multi-million dollar deal so basically what happened was he stiffs the dude he don't pay him and he basically dropped dime on him. He called the feds and then they end up catching cases and going to jail and, and cop and pleas and shit. So all because the dude tried to stiff a dude out of like 200 grand or something like that basically cost him to get like a, uh, a, 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 a mass amount of time in prison, Jonah Hill's character. So that's what's going on probably with Tyson Fury. This farmer was supposed to get 25,000 pounds and basically they uh, stiffed him so now he like okay well you didn't pay me so now i'm telling this takashi 69 i'm snitching i mean it's like this if you do dirty business do you know what i'm saying and you try to do people dirty well they're gonna do you dirty back so, do the man got a vendetta? Of course he do. Should Tyson Fury have paid the man to keep his secret quiet? Yeah. But due to the fact that he didn't, 
Now Tyson Fury is tied to more proof that his character is very questionable. You understand me? I know you do. So basically this dude is saying he forged documents. Saying that he forged documents, he basically uh, told a lie. Now I don't know what the penalty for perjury is and, for, and, and fraud, but he could possibly get in trouble. All because Tyson Fury tried to stiff the dude. Did he not think the dude might have had a paper trail? Real talk. Real talk. Okay? So, it appears that Tyson Fury is just a dishonest person. Now, they saying that this possibly could, like, if this is serious, and if the Boxing Commission do their due diligence, Tyson Fury could be banned from boxing. Now, here's the thing. Unfortunately, he's in the UK. You would have to pay mounts amount, uh, mountains, mass amount of money to get that dude to be able to come out here and testify. But you couldn't do it unless it was on a national scale. This would have to be what you would call uh, a Supreme Court-like case. But at the end of the day, Tyson Fury is busted, man. Tyson Fury is busted. Like I said, it's not a question of if Tyson Fury cheated. He did it. And Tyson Fury just seems not to be a good person. Okay? So this is more alarming and damning evidence against Tyson Fury that he, that he fucked over Deontay Wilder. And the more evidence that come out about Tyson Fury, the more everybody involved in this fight looks bad. That goes down to the people that promoted this fight, to the, to, to, I mean, everybody. Everybody looks bad in this situation. From the promoters to Tyson Fury's team. I, I, I mean, like, my God. I mean, really? Y'all still in denial about what's going on with Tyson Fury? Y'all still in denial? Do you need more evidence that Tyson Fury is a cheat? Do you need more evidence that Tyson Fury ain't an honest person? Okay. What is it going to take? I, I mean, are you guys in... I mean, are you really in denial that much? Like I said, Tyson Fury, to be honest with you, he should be he should be charged and he should never be allowed to box again. For real. Now, like I said, I'm gonna address all you fake debunkers. I'm gonna address you you fake channels. I'm I'm gonna address y'all in the next video because y'all gonna get it too. Real talk. I mean, it's just mountains of evidence that Tyson Fury is just not cool. I mean, I mean, do do you guys need any more proof that Tyson Fury is a cheater and that he's a liar? He basically was purposely, purposely taking PEDs and he got caught. He purposely tampered with those gloves. Okay, as I said before, I call this shit right down the middle. I've talked about everybody that I suspected or got popped for PEDs, didn't care what color they was, I, I, I spoke on it. Or if they did something that was against the rules of boxing. But like I said, everybody that's listening, um, this goes to show you that this is, this is bigger than what we think it is that the higher ups in boxing know about this shit. And this is why they scared to do anything about it. Same thing with Major League Baseball. They scared to really come down on the Texas Rangers. I mean, excuse me, they they really they really scared to come down on the Houston Astros because they scared what other evidence might come out. 
other scandals that might happen because Houston blatantly got caught cheating. Tyson Fury has overwhelming mountains of evidence that he's been cheating. You got people testifying against him about paying them to use certain gloves. And then there was an issue that Tyson Fury threatened not to fight if he couldn't use certain gloves. And his team admitted that they tampered with a sparring partner's gloves to give him more confidence. Okay. I mean, I mean, come on, you guys. Are y'all that ignorant? I guess so. It's your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.